Hey guys, it's Utah. So, just like anybody else on YouTube, I sometimes get hateful comments. But in this video, I want to focus on hateful comments from Japanese people because the way they hate me can be cultural and I think it will be interesting to you. But I have to say, I was kind of overestimating the amount of hateful comments from Japanese people because I was thinking like, oh, you know, Japanese people just hate me for nothing. But in order to make this video, I checked Japanese anonymous forums where they discuss my videos. So it's anonymous, so they can say whatever they want. But actually, hateful comments towards me were much, much fewer than I thought. So I think it's a good example that you tend to remember hateful comments and forget about all the positive comments. But I read hateful comments and I found some patterns. So here are five types of hateful comments that are common from Japanese people. So there's a very common Japanese word, kimoi, which means something like gross, ugly, nauseous, or repulsive. And it's a common way to insult people, as I discussed in my video about how Japanese people insult each other. And people use this word when they don't like somebody, but they can't really articulate why. So it's not really an intelligent way of insulting somebody. And pretty much anybody on social media in Japan can get this insult. So there's nothing interesting here. Let's move on to the next one. Some people say that my interviews are biased, and I think it's a completely valid point. Because I can't possibly interview completely random people as I have to rely on people who say yes to my interview request. And I fully acknowledged this in my other video about how my videos can be biased. But I want to clarify that I don't select people based on their opinions. I literally just go up to people and ask them if I can interview them. And I don't edit out people just because I don't like their opinions. I try to include all kinds of different opinions, including ones that I don't agree with. And I actually don't agree with many things that Japanese people say in my videos. And I think many people who say that my videos are biased are biased themselves because they don't interact with random people on a regular basis. Just think about this. People you interact with regularly are people who go to the same school, the same company, share some interests, or share some friends. So they tend to be kind of similar to you. But there are many people who have completely different opinions that you don't interact with. And that's true in my case because people I interview are pretty random and they are pretty different from my usual Japanese friends. And actually interviewing random Japanese people makes me realize that there are Japanese people who have many different opinions. Now, this could possibly be the most Japanese reason in this video. Well, there's an expression, meiwako kakeru, which means something like to bother people, to cause trouble to people, or to inconvenience people. And Japanese people use this expression all the time. For example, many Japanese parents say, oh, I don't want my kids to cause trouble to other people. So not bothering people is very important to many Japanese people. But the problem is, the bar of causing trouble to people can be very, very low. For example, if you are sick and you have to take a day off from work, that can be causing trouble to your colleagues. So Japanese people sometimes choose to work even if they are sick because they don't want to cause trouble to their co-workers. Or let's say you are playing basketball, but you're not as good as other players. That can be causing trouble to your team. So it can take very little to cause trouble. And with this kind of logic, just approaching people and asking them very politely if I can interview them can be causing too much trouble. But actually, I try to be pretty respectful when I approach people. There's a video where I walked up to completely random strangers and asked them, will you be my friend? Which is a pretty weird thing to do. But when I did that, I tried not to block people's path and I stayed on the same spot and I didn't chase them so that they wouldn't be scared. So I always tried to be non-threatening. But 
To be fair, this type of comment is pretty uptight even by Japanese standards. So when somebody says, oh, he's causing too much trouble, he gets replies from other Japanese people saying, oh, you're too uptight. So not all Japanese people are that strict. By the way, because of this kind of attitude, I'd always thought that prank or social experiment types of videos wouldn't do well in Japan. But nowadays, there are so many Japanese YouTubers doing some crazy stuff outside. So compared to them, my videos are pretty innocent and harmless. So some Japanese people say that I'm trying to make Japan look bad. And this is pretty interesting because it shows how self-conscious some Japanese people can be. This is partly because many Japanese people care a lot about what other people think of them, and especially with foreign countries. So if one person in my video says something that can remotely be negative about Japan, some Japanese people worry that foreigners might think Japan negatively. A good example is my video where I asked Japanese people to write some kanji. And this is just a fun video that shows that kanji can be tricky even for Japanese people. But since many people in my video couldn't write the right kanji, some Japanese people thought that I was trying to make Japanese people look stupid. But it's just a fun, light-hearted video. And I noticed that some people just interpret my videos based on their biases and see some intentions that are not there. For example, some people accuse me of making Japan look too perfect. So I guess based on your bias, you can interpret my videos either way. Now this is the most bizarre far-fetched one because some people claim that I'm secretly some type of foreigner who is disguised as Japanese in order to make Japan look bad. Just why? This is pretty ridiculous but these comments do exist and they usually say that I'm Korean but other foreigners are possible. Another variation is somebody's paying me to make videos to make Japan look bad. Doesn't make sense, but those are essentially conspiracy theories. So I guess some people just think like that. Now, before you start judging Japanese people, let me remind you one more time that among thousands of comments that I read, those hateful or bizarre comments are kind of rare. And this is an anonymous space on the internet where you expect to find lots of hateful comments. And I actually found some interesting comments, so maybe I will talk about them in the future. But if you understand Japanese, you don't have to wait for me to talk about those interesting comments because you can just read them. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.